Have you ever received a gift that you're like, yeah, I just don't like it? Or have you ever given a gift and they open it and they're like, oh, thank you so much. And you're like, are you in pain or do you just hate my gift? Like gift giving can be hard and we are coming up on a season full of gift giving. And so I want you to be able to give gifts and actually when you buy them that you know this person is going to love it because you are spending your hard earned money to buy someone else something out of the generosity of your heart for sure. But you wanna make sure that they love it. Did you know that last year over $15.2 billion were spent on unwanted gifts? Isn't that terrible? I'm not gonna lie. There's been some gifts that I've received that I'm like, it's just not me. I just, I don't know. About 10 years ago, I received a gift that was like this outdoorsy kit of some sorts. And I was like, I don't go outdoors very often. I mean, like I like nature sort of, but like, it's not like my thing. Like I don't, I'm not like hiking trails all the time. It's me, it's Rachel, like I don't do that. And so it was a box and you guys, I left a little bit of the wrapping paper of the original wrapping and I gave the gift in a gift bag, <laughs> tissue paper and the whole thing to someone for their birthday because they're outdoorsy. Like I knew they would like it and I'm like, I'm not gonna use it. So I'm going to re-gift. Well, when you re-gift, make sure there's no evidence because I left a big old evidence piece at the bottom. And she asked me straight up, uh-huh. She was like, did you re-gift this? And I was like, oh. I mean, you're at a crossroads. Do you lie or do you tell the truth? Well, I gotta tell the truth. The Holy Spirit would convict me if not. And I was like, mm hmm. All I said was, I just thought you would like it. It was terrible, you guys. It was terrible. So make sure you give gifts that you know people are going to like. And how do you do that? Well, you have to know their money tendencies. And so, one thing that you can know is, okay, people are either experience type people or actual things, like an item. That's what they like. So it's on a scale. So you could probably think for yourself, what do you like? Do you like more experiences or do you like more things? For me, even though that was an experience type gift, I enjoy experiences, okay? So if you're giving me a gift, <laughs> if you're giving someone a gift who loves experiences, then they're gonna love things like memberships to places or gift cards to possibly get a massage or to get their nails done if they're a lady or, I mean, anything around that. Like, I remember Amelia, our oldest, for her birthday, someone gave her a year long pass to our children's museum in Nashville, the Science Museum. And I was like, that is so brilliant. Because we go all the time, like they, they love it. It's an outing, it's something to do all day long. Get, get me a small gift card, birthday, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas. I mean, whenever you want to give me a gift, I love it. It's like, Oh, or even a vacation. I'm like, yes, or a nice dinner out where it's like you get all the things. Like I could spend time and money for experiences all day long. But some people are not like me and they like more things, like an actual item they can use. And this is my husband, so practical. But he's like, no, I would like to buy like a nice pair of shoes or a nice pair of boots that I know I can keep and experience those for years on end because they're, they're great. Or, um, oh gosh, oh. You know one thing, Winston's gonna kill me. Uh, the Alexa light bulbs. Alexa, turn living room on. Yep, we all get to use them every day. And Winston's like, see, I would spend money on that all the time. So do the people that you're buying for, do they like a thing? Is it a thing that they like? If so, then go and find that thing. But knowing this about people is knowing more of their money personality, who they are, their tendencies. And again, it makes you a better gift giver all around. And that way they're not having to re-gift your gift. But that's one of the seven tendencies that I talk about in my new book, Know Yourself, Know Your Money. And understanding your money tendencies really helps you ask the question, why? Why do I handle money the way I do? Why do I spend the money I spend? Why do I save the money I save? A lot of those can be answered because of your money tendencies. So to pre-order my new book, make sure to go to rachelcruz.com. And if you pre-order, you get the free audiobook. Mm -hmm to listen to this, this voice that you're hearing now, read the book for you. You can get the ebook and again, the copy of Know Yourself, Know Your Money. So go to rachelcruz.com to pre-order today. <laughs>